today is the day oh my god i think twitch literally heard my screams and cries from the mobile video okay it is because polls and predictions drum roll please are finally on twitch mobile i've been waiting for this for about maybe four or five years now probably ever since i started modding to be honest but literally my biggest video is how to get posts and predictions and every single comment is where is it on mobile we finally have it i'm very excited to show you so out of everything you do let's get to it now of course if you you have to update your mobile app okay and i know it looks like tiktok i know it looks kind of mm, but you gotta trust me on this, okay? I actually kind of like it. I'm gonna go in my own channel, in my own chat, and open up Mod View, because you know we got Mod View now. And if you scroll this all the way to the right, you'll see this little bubble next to the bubble, because that's channel points. <laughs> you'll see predictions. It's like a little clock with a little spark. It's basically the same thing as desktop. Basically, it has its own tab and again if you go all the way to the right with the little pencil uh you can either like move it up move down or turn it off but here is how you start a prediction on here so you're just going to press start prediction a little screen will pop up and you obviously have like your previous ones you press this arrow here to auto fill it or you can fill it out yourself obviously you can have it up to i believe i believe it's 10 if i remember correctly 10 predictions you can submit the submission period and that's 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 20, and 30. Also, if you're a mod and you're creating the prediction and you vote in the prediction, you can't turn it off. So make sure if you're making it, you have either another mod that can turn it off or the streamer is free enough to turn it off. And then you press start prediction. And then you have this little confirmation thing press it again and it will pop up on your screen and it will stay here for the two minute period it has a little timer as you can see uh obviously people vote uh that will show there now you can either delete and it will refund all the channel points i believe or you can just hit end submission and you can end it you can end it early and you can choose the outcome let's just pick a random one we can complete it have a com confirmation and it will show you the winner and all the stats and yada yada yada. So it's pretty easy. It has its own tab. Thank the Lord in heavens. But you know what I'm... Grinds my gears. Polls does not have its own tab. No, no, no. It's in the quick actions tab. So if you go to quick actions, which is I believe your third little tab if you're on default. And you scroll all the way down, you can create a poll. And it shows the little two bars. Click the two bars. Uh, you can either view results of the poll that you just did or create a new poll. And it will bring up this thing. You can ask the question, uh, is Debbie cool? And then you do yes, no. Obviously, you need two, but you can go up to five. Uh, if you allow additional votes, it's going to be channel points, obviously. And again, you can click the duration of how the poll is. So you could do a minute, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes, or ten. And you click start poll. Now, you might be saying, Debbie, you can't see the pool. I spoke cool wrong. You know what? What if I lose my mind? If you go back to the chat, obviously, you're going to see it up there and you'll be fine. Which is cool. You can see the, the thing. I hate that it has a does it doesn't have its own tab. That's the only thing I hate about polls right now is that it does not have its own tab. Um, so, obviously, if you want to vote, click yes. You can see it in mod view. I'm a little dumb. But if you click three dots, you can either report it or whatever. If I clicked view results, uh, you can see a current poll that's going on. You can either edit only or vote breakdown. And you can see those little details. Don't know if you can see this on desktop, but I think that's pretty cool that you can see the little breakdown. And I'm just going to click and poll. There's a confirmation. And again, you can see the breakdown afterwards. So that's that's coolio. And if you have like, another little, like a little notification there, it'll show a little dot. So obviously this one is still ongoing and the little notification goes away when you're done with it but that is how you do polls and predictions on mobile i believe when you do a prediction this should also show up there but you can also just click the little x my fingers are a little stubby so i misclicked but it is there you know what we have some form of it i am happy thank you twitch so much for at least putting some form 
of it on the app because I'm very happy. The only thing I don't like is that Polls does not have its own tab. Ah, we're so close. We're so close to what I completely want, but this is definitely a step in the right direction. So thank you so much. And thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.